All right, so for section 8.3, we are going to be talking about adding these arithmetic uh, sequences. Um, and whenever we add arithmetic sequences, we call them arithmetic series, okay? So uh, just to kind of give you an idea, a sequence is like when you have one, two, three, four, etc. Right? That's considered a sequence. A series is when you get those numbers, but you just add them. You're just going to add them up. So that's the difference between a sequence and a series. Okay, A sequence is a list of numbers, and a series is a sum of that list of numbers. Okay, So you're just adding stuff up. Now, a really quick uh, recall. You guys should already know this formula. A sub n equal to a sub 1 plus d times n minus 1. Okay, and this is how you try to find specific terms. If you wanted to find your 30th term, a sub 30, you would find your first term, your common difference, and then calculate it, and you can find a sub 30. But um, if they want us to figure out the sum of the first 30 terms, like what do the first 30 terms add up to? What do the first 10 terms add up to? If they want to figure that out, then I'm going to give you a brand new equation. S sub n. Okay, so it's a capital S sub n. So that's the sum of the first n terms. So the n on the bottom tells you how many terms you're adding. So if it said S sub 5, that means you're adding up 5 terms. If you put S sub 20, that means you're adding the first 20 terms. Okay? So the n is how many terms you're adding. The formula is n divided by 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. So that's the sum of the first n terms. We like to call them partial sums, but, but we won't worry about that for now. In calculus, we do call them partial sums. But s sub n is the sum of the first n terms. Notice you need to know your first term and the nth term that you want to add up to. Okay? So a sub 1 plus a sub n. Now, the first four problems on your homework are going to be pretty easy because they're going to give you everything you need. Okay? And then the last eight, you're going to have to figure some stuff out. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So example number one. Now, for all of these, they're going to want us to evaluate the arithmetic series described. Okay, so evaluate the arithmetic series described. Evaluate the arithmetic series described. So they're going to give you information and you're going to add them up. Okay, all the terms. So here we go. Actually, let me give you a couple more seconds just in case you're still writing out the instructions. So evaluate each arithmetic series described. So we're going to do two of these, and then we're going to go to example two, which is going to be different. So uh, let's, let's do this one. A sub 1 is equal to 8. A sub n is equal to 248 and n is 25. Now it might be useful just a real quick reminder to have your calculator handy because um, you're going to probably have to do some multiplication or division or something like that. So um, I'm pulling out my calculator on my phone right now. Um, so they gave me a sub 1, a sub n, and n. So I'm just going to start off with the main equation here. S sub n, I'm just going to write it out, okay, n over 2. This is just practice, so I can start memorizing it without really wanting to. Right? I'm just writing it out. And then I'm going to fill in the information, okay? So, what is, S sub n, what is my n value? 25. 25 equals to n over 2, 25 divided by 2 times, what's A sub 1? 8 
What's A sub N? 248. Now I'm basically done. I just got to calculate this. So notice that wasn't too hard to do, right? Just fill in the information given a description of the arithmetic series. So, all right, uh, let me see. 25 over 2 times 8 plus 248 is 256. Now, if I put that into my calculator, I'm going to put 25 divided by 2 and then times 256, I get 3,200. And that's it. I'm done. Okay, so the first two examples I'm going to give you, A and B, they're going to be like this. They're pretty straightforward. I'm just going to give you uh, the specific information to plug into the equation and then you just calculate it. All right. The other ones, there's going to be stuff missing and we got to figure it out. So are we okay with part A? Anybody need me to explain anything for part A? All right, so part B. So I was looking at, at your first four problems. I noticed part A was, was a pretty big problem. So I figured let's do that one. A sub 1 is 0. A sub n is 22. And n is equal to 12. So I'm going to write down my equation again. Just for practice, S sub n is equal to n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. Remember, write them down. That's going to help you memorize stuff without really trying to memorize. It's going to help you to remember it. All right, so let's plug in the information. S sub n, what is n? 12 equal to 12 over 2. A sub 1, what do I get? 0 plus A sub n, 22. So I just got to basically do a 6 divided by, uh, sorry, 12 divided by 2 is 6 times 22. And uh, 6 times 22 is 132. So there you go. Done. So that's not too bad, right? If they give you all the information that you need, it's really simple. Just plug the numbers in and you're good. You're done. But then they're like, all right, that's too easy. Let's try to, to, to give you something where you have to utilize two equations. So example number two. Same uh, directions, evaluate each arithmetic series described. So same thing, but we're going to do A, B, C, and D for this one, okay? And, and all of these are pretty much the same. They just gonna, they're going to look a little different, but they all require the same amount of work and the same two equations. So I just want to keep them together. All right, so they give us an A sub 1. I'm going to put negative 6. They give us a D value, which is 2. And an N value, which is 50. Okay, if they want me to sum these things up, let me write this down, S sub N equal to N over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub N. Another reason why I like to write down my equations, not so much just because of memorization, but it also is, a, is literally a map of what I need, right? So, let me start filling in the information based on what I have, okay? So, do I know what N is? 50, okay, so S sub 50 equals to 50 over 2 times, do I know what A sub 1 is? 
negative 6. Plus, do I know what a sub n is? No. But I do know what n is. n is 50. So what do I need to figure out? Well, be a little more specific. Not just a sub n, a sub 50. I need to know a sub 50. But I don't know it. It's not there. They didn't give it to me. So that's why we need that other equation that we've used before. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus d times n minus 1. I want to find a sub 50. So instead of a sub n, I'm going to write a sub 50. a sub 1, I do know. a sub 1 is negative 6. I know what D is. They told me D is what? 2. And N is 50 minus 1. So if I calculate the stuff on the right side, I'll be able to find my 50th term and then plug it into my formula, and then I'm done. Okay? But I need to figure out that term. So let's see. A sub 50 is negative 6 plus 2 times 49. So... Um, 2 times 49, let me see, what do I get here? That's 98, I should have been able to do that in my head, uh, which is 92 when you subtract 6. So a sub 50 is 92. Okay, so let me go back and plug that in. s sub 50 is equal to uh, 50 divided by 2, that's 25, negative 6, Plus, I'm going to change the color really quick, just so it can be uh, kind of highlighted that that's a number we just plugged in because we solved for it. Okay? And then, again, just use your, uh, your calculator here. So negative 6 um, plus 92. And then I'm going to multiply by 25. I get 2,150. Okay, so this one is a little bit more complicated, all right? Uh, you're going to still use your original equation of S sub n that we, we use with the easy problems, but since we're missing the A sub n term, we're going to have to figure that out. In order to do that, we're going to use an old equation from uh, chap uh, chapter 8, section 1, right? The ones we did on Monday. We're going to use that equation to help us out. Now, you might say, well, how did I know that I should have used that equation? It's because of this. The D value. I had to start thinking, what equations do I know that have the letter D in it? Right? And that's when I thought, oh yeah, the D times N minus 1 equation. Uh, that's the uh, arithmetic sequence equation for it. So that's why I chose that one. Because that, that's one equation in my head that I'm like, oh, the letter D, I remember solving for that. Okay? Any questions on this one? If you want to draw kind of arrows as to when you did what, here, you would go from here to there, and then here, you'd go back there, all right? So if you kind of want to follow the flow of what we did, at which point did I move this way and that way, there you go, okay? All right, so let's do part B. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time to try it on your own, okay? So um, let me see. So you might want to use a, a calculator for this, or if not, ask your neighbor if they can let you borrow theirs or have them do it for you, or at least do as much as you can. So here you go, here's the information. And I'll write down the two equations for you. But let me give you a couple minutes to work on this and then we'll, we'll figure out the answer. I don't know what the answer is, just so you know, so I, I'm gonna be as shocked as you if we get it right uh, or wrong. Um, so I, I don't know what they are. Okay, so now you guys had some time to try it. Um, anybody want to share a solution that maybe you think it might be right? Go ahead. Uh, 395. 395. Anybody else? Did anybody else get 395? 
So, okay, I see a couple of yeses. So, let's see. Again, I don't know the answer. So, if it is, then awesome. I have no idea what it is. Um, so, all right, let's start filling this in. Okay, S sub n equals to n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. Uh, n is 10, so let me put that in. Uh, this is s to the 10th equals to 10 over 2. a sub 1 is negative 1 plus a sub 10. I don't know what a sub 10 is. Um, I'm going to kind of simplify s sub 10 a little bit. Uh, 10 divided by 2 is 5. I'm just going to leave it like this, okay? So it's 10 divided by 2, that's not hard to do. So I'm just going to leave it alone. Now, I'm going to jump to this equation over here. A sub 10 is what I need. Now, A sub 1 is negative 1, plus D, which is 9, and N is 10, so that would be 10 minus 1. Okay? So 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 times 9 is 81. So this is going to be negative 1 plus 81. Because again, 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 times 9 is 81. Uh, negative 1 plus 81 is 80. Does that look good so far? Yeah? All right. So um, let me go back and plug it in to there. So S sub 10 is equal to 5 times negative 1 plus 80. That's uh, 5 times 79. So here is uh, uh, the answer that we're looking for. 79 times 5 is 395. So good. 395 is the correct answer. Um, um, this is not like terribly difficult, but a little annoying sometimes when you have to use two different equations, right, to kind of do all your work. But, but I mean, that's very normal in math. Uh, you don't always just tend to use one equation for everything. You always tend to use multiple things that you know uh, to help you find the correct answer. So, so 395 was correct. So thank you for that. So let me show you uh, at least one more example of a different way they're going to show you the work. Okay, still the same instructions, still the same idea. We're going to use two different equations, but they're going to give you the following information. I just realized I was using my calculator on my phone instead of the one on the screen. Um, I don't know why I did that. So here we go. Um, 15 plus 23 plus 31 plus 39 plus etc. N is 20. Okay, so let me put this up here. So 15 plus 23 plus 31 plus 39 plus etc. And they said n is 20. Now you should be able to get your a sub 1 from this. You should be able to get your d value from this. And you also know what your n value is. So let's, let's figure that out. What's a sub 1? 15, remember a sub 1 is the very first number that they wrote, so it's 15, right? What is my d value? How much is it changing from 15 to 23, 23 to 31, 31 to 39? 8, right? And remember, if you don't, if you don't remember uh, how to do that, all you're going to do is subtract 23 minus 15, right? 23 minus 15 is 8. Then you can do 31 minus 23. That's 8. And 39 minus 31, also 8. So that's common, right? It's a common number. So um, your d value is 8 and n equals 20. Now notice this, is, I set it up now the way the other problem was, right? Where they gave you the first term, the d value, and the n value, right? So that's all I did. I just got the list that they wrote and I rewrote it for us. Now, we're going to try to find the sum of everything, so I'm going to rewrite my equation. Hopefully by now you have this one memorized. If not, after a couple more you probably will. Okay, but I always like to write down my equations. Okay, it doesn't hurt. Um, all right, let's plug in what we need. I need to find a sub 20, right? That's my n value. So, sorry, not a sub 20, s sub 20. 
So that'd be 20 divided by 2. A sub 1 is 15 plus A sub 20. But again, I don't know A sub 20. They didn't give that to me. Again, there's going to be four problems in your homework where they're nice and easy, where they give you everything. Um, but uh, sometimes they don't give us the information, so we're going to have to figure it out. So we're going to go to this equation and find A sub 20. A sub 20 is going to be A sub 1, which is 15, plus 8 times 20 minus 1. Remember, the 15 and the 8, we have that on that list right below the, the question, right? 20 minus 1 is 19, so that's 15 plus 8 times 19. Let me figure out what that is. It's 15 plus 8 times 19, 167. 167. That's A sub 20. So plug that back in. Okay, we're going to put it back into that equation. So S sub 20 is equal to 10, 15 plus 167. So 10 times 15 plus 167 is 1,820. And that's our answer. So your homework is going to be based on this stuff, okay? Uh, I'll kind of stop there because uh, the next example is identical to this. So.